What's going on everybody? I'm Patrick from Powlax and in this video we're going to be going over the 22 quick man up play. So this is a play that will be effective at pretty much any level but it will be very effective at the youth levels because the defensemen in the youth game are so focused on the ball that any off ball movement and timed up cutting is going to be extremely effective. This play really does work all the time. Kudos to Greg McGahey for showing it to me. Before we get into the actual play, if you'd like to download the playbook PDF of this play, you can get it at patreon.com slash Powlax by clicking this link up here in the corner. This will be a part of the $3 tier. And as we're talking about Patreon, I just want to say thank you to all of the patrons who have joined in the last two, three months. We're up to 110. There is way more than just this on the site there is complete sets defensive sets all kinds of stuff i think we're up to 46 pdfs that you can download if you join the five dollar tier um, but so big thank you for that now as we get into the play the first thing we got to discuss is our formation it's just our standard 222 we're going to have two middies up top who are going to be wide just under the restraining line we're going to have a midi and attackman on the crease and they're going to be tight and then the att two attackmen below gle who are going to be to the left and the right of x now the most important part of this play is the timing and where our personnel is. And the most important two players are going to be A1 here, who's going to be our lefty feeder, and then A3, who is going to be our righty finisher. Now, if we were running this for a lefty finisher, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually swing the ball the other direction, and now M3 or A3, I guess, could be the lefty finisher. You would just have them kind of switch sides, and then a2 would be your righty feeder. But so we're going to run this for the righties because for the most part, most of the players are righty anyway. So now as we get into actually running the play, what we're going to want to do is swing the ball. And as we swing the ball, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing the defensemen out of their positions. So they're kind of going to creep out towards the ball. And so if we start the ball with our lefty feeder here and he moves the ball, the most important things that we need to make sure we're doing is that these players are moving their feet so that they're not letting the defense knock the ball down and they're actively making the defenders move. So as this happens, D2 would come out to play him. He'd have to run with him. Now as A2 passes up to M2, M2 would want to come and get the ball. He would then run over. We're gonna draw D3 out here. And from this position, this is where we're gonna start our three quick passes. And we're gonna do it for the following reason. Our objective is to draw the LSM out, pass down to the lefty feeder, have M3 seal off DM1, and have A3 come off of this pick. Now, for all of that to work really well, and to have the LSM not be able to come in and play him, or D3 to come in and play him as he comes off of this, is we have to move the ball very quickly. So let's just kind of show what that looks like. So. M2 still has the ball. He's going to move the ball to M1, who's going to draw the LSM out. M1's going to move it fast to A1, who will most likely come upfield a little bit to get an extra angle. And as these passes are happening, M3 is kind of going to slyly come in, step in, and just seal off DM1. A3 is going to cut right off the edge of that seal. And then A1 is going to feed A3 inside, and A3 is going to shoot the ball. So as we're running this play, there's a couple things we can do to make this pretty sly. The first is that M3 needs to almost not look like he's setting a pick. So we can actually have his stick up facing the ball as it comes through, and he can actually turn with the ball and set a pick using his butt, do either a bumblebee pick or just a back pick, however he wants to do it. And the most important thing is that as the ball is coming down here, A3 has started his cut and the seal is made so that right as the lefty catches it, he can throw it inside to A3 and A3 can get a good shot off. Now, it's all about timing. I know a lot of coaches who like to run a 2-2-2 for their man up and they just say, hey, guys on the crease, you're just going to move around. But if they're just moving around, you will find certain looks, but if the players know exactly when and how to cut, you end up with just a little bit more space, they expect it, they know what's coming, and you'll score a lot more goals if the players expect it. Now we're gonna watch a couple videos of this play in action. In our first example, the ball is going to start back right. Once he passes up to top right, the player who is actually top center is going to move inside out of a 3-3 set and then set the seal inside. So as the balls pass up to top right, he moves it over to top left. And right now, the seal is already set. The player who is going to cut already knows he's cutting so that as the ball moves down to side left, the player comes off, 
Easy pass, easy catch, nice little goal. In the second example, we're going to focus on the speed of the three passes. The ball is already top right. So notice how quickly these three passes give us a great shot. It's one, two, three and we get a great scoring opportunity. I appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Definitely let me know what you thought down in the comment section. Hit that like, subscribe button, and if you wanna download the playbook PDF, you can get that at patreon.com slash powlax by clicking this link up here in the corner. There's tons of great content on there. Um, we're up over 110, so thank you guys for becoming patrons. That really means the world to me. It lets me know that the stuff that I'm creating is valuable to people, so I really definitely appreciate that. Have a good one, I will see you guys in the next video. Also, yeah, if uh, you could hear the thing, the yeah, if you could hear the whining the whole time, um, uh, this this little guy is why this little guy is why you can hear the whining. This is little Turner. So uh, yeah, if there's some kind of like grunting, and groaning in the videos from here on out, it's because I'm watching this guy while I'm making videos. But so he's he's pretty cute. I think we'll keep him. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one, fellas. Enjoy. Good luck this season.